doing? Nick, and we got, well, let's see, this is my Saturday, but it's Wednesday for the rest of you fuckers. Don't worry, they'll come around, you guys can, can laugh at me later on too. Well, actually, some of the guys always will laugh at me no matter what. Why? Because they're assholes. You know, like Eric, Heffy, Ed, Wade. Don't know who's, who those guys are. Eric, Ebony, me, or b and &E Blue Reviews. Heffy67, Ed, USAF, Ed, and Wade. Uh, Big Redneck Papa. And then, of course, you have Jim. Jim, by the way, I'm hoping you're feeling better, my friend. Is what you, what you were talking about earlier. That's some scary shit. So, cheers, and get better soon. Keep us updated. You're my, you're in my thoughts, and I know you're in the, in the prayers of, of everyone else. Anyways, what are we going to look at today? This one here, well, you saw it in the, you'll see it in the intro. I want to see what it was like. Figure what the hell. Peroni. Nestor Azuro. If I'm mispronouncing that, fuck you. Italian beer. Natural ingredients, I'm guessing is what that says. Authentic Italian recipe. If I understand, this is a Euro Pale Lager. One thing I don't like, green bottle. What the fuck, seriously. Don't people give a shit about the beer? Keep it from getting skunked? So, I'm hoping this doesn't skunk. If it does, or if it sucks, well, I have other stuff as a backup. And tonight's backup, in case this one does suck, which it might, is Chimay Red. This one's 7% alcohol by volume. And it is, uh, what is it, Belgian Dark Ale? Something like that. Yeah, we'll see that one later anyway. And the Peroni, I believe, is 5.1%. So, literally, just uh, pubic hair above that of the average U European lager. So, bottle opener, same one as always. Innocent gun. Nice sturdy piece of steel. Bottle the cap. And the glass is just, just going to be my uh, Mill Street Brewery pint glass. Nothing special, because as far as I know, there's nothing special about this beer. It's just a beer. Applying a straw color. Oh, yeah. You definitely smell something off the way from there. Yeah, definitely just getting like the lager. Yeah, just a normal lager smell. A little bit of grassy notes. Not getting much corn, but you won't. I don't think you do in in European lagers. I think you only get those in North American. I think it has something to do with the barley, the type of barley that we have over here. I don't know. There's some historians out there that could tell you more. More you can check out. I believe. Um. I believe Xbox Ahoy, Stuart Brown has one that does a history on lagers and that sort of thing. So, you can always look him up. He's He's a cool cat to listen to. Really interesting. Unlike me. Anyways, yeah. So can you see that there? Yeah. It's literally looks like a urine sample. Let's hope it doesn't taste like a urine sample. Anyways, though, yeah. Grassy notes, light bit of hops. Nothing much else. So, let's see what it's like. Okay. Yeah, got something in my eye. Yeah. 
has a bit of a sourness to it. Probably it's because it's the bottom, not because of the actual beer itself. But again, always those stupid fucking green bottles. Seriously. You know, they make a they actually make a beer around here by Moosehead, oldest independent brewery in Canada. Right here in St. John New Brunswick. Now, they make a lager. Looks like a bottle like almost like this. Maybe a little lighter in color. But still a green bottle. And it has a really unfortunate nickname. It's called Skunk Piss. Because it goes skunky. It'll smell like you ran, like if you crack one open and pour it and drink it, you'll get smells like as if you ran over a skunk on the highway. It's not so pungent that you, that it'll make you gag, but it'll make it very, very show, shows a very much more unfavorable side of these types of beers because of those glasses. Those bottles. You can get with Heineken and Stella Artois, or as I like to call it, Stella's Twat. Hey, want to try some Stella's Twat? Anyways, this thing, nothing special. We're going to drink this down and we'll get on to something else, because, quite frankly, this wasn't really worth the money for it. It was only like three bucks. Not even. I think it was like two fifty. But, it wasn't even worth that. I drink. I think I'll, I'll make a. I'll make my own beer first. No, no, never mind. Never mind on that one. I don't have the space, nor the time, nor the skill to do it. These guys were just hoping that it was just an unfortunate bottle. Uh, yeah. This one, I'm going to finish it. But, believe me, I will not be getting another one. Doesn't, I wish that I, would, that I had more promise. Because, well, as you, as you see in the intro, lucky ass bottle stuck between a hot ass set of hot ass cheeks. Hey. I'm an ass man, what can I say? Hey, boobs are great too. Because boobs have their place. But some of us just like to see a part, like the gawk at a part of, part of a woman that wishes when she can't look. When she's not looking. So, yeah. The. So, anyways, what's going on with everyone else? It's in the seven. I don't see a whole lot of what goes on down in the states because, well, I'm in Canada. We have our own fucking problems. At least you guys finally finally got rid, got rid of your reject of a of a leader. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, we're stuck with our with ours. And. I've said this before to a few friends, but the nice thing about this in your country, my, to my friends down in the States, the nice thing in your country is that at most you only have to deal with uh, with one particular leader for maximum of two terms. After that they're prohibited from running ever again. We don't have such luck up here. They could actually run for, leader, run for the leadership of the country as many times as they want. The current retard that we have now is try, probably trying to ensconce himself in that position indefinitely. 2019, 2019 can't get here soon enough because quite frankly he's a fucking idiot. There's, it's reported now well, actually it was reported earlier last year, earlier, late last year that him and his Bandit band of criminal misfits were seeking to tax our health and dental benefits. If you know anything about Canada, we already pay up a shit ton, shit ton of taxes. At least here in New Brunswick, property to, uh, we have a what's known as the HST harmonized sales tax. That's fifteen percent on anything that's not food, like fruits, vegetables, that sort of thing. There's no tax on that. But it's pretty much a tax on everything else. Gas is already horrendously expensive. What is it? I paid for mid grade to put in my to put in my vehicle tonight. For once it was actually close it was actually wasn't terrible. 
It was a dollar, dollar and nine cents, something like that. And this is making a bit of sense. Oil is cheap these days, but again, it's because we have a gas tax, we have a HST, we have a harmonized sales tax, there's other taxes on it, then there's also plus the, gas, the cost of refining the oil. I don't fault a company for making a profit. It's not their fault. It's the fault of the government for making for so much goddamn red tape. That's just my own viewpoint. And of course, I'm somewhat biased because the company that makes the, all, the, all the gas in this region, and they actually refine all the gas for the entire maritime provinces, I believe, between here in New Brunswick, PEI, and Nova Scotia, I believe, and not to mention they ship a lot of it an uh, insane amount to the New England states, like Maine, Massachusetts, all through that area. Well, they work, I work for them, uh, after a fashion. Contracted, but I'm, re I'm responsible for protecting their assets. And, yeah, I'm somewhat biased. They technically pay me. They supply me with paycheck to look after my wife and my family and put a roof over my head. So, yeah, I'm going to be somewhat biased. But they want it, but I'm getting back onto it, so I went off, went off on a tangent in another direction. Maybe it's the alcohol. No, it's not. This is the first thing I, was, I drank tonight, I swear. Yeah, as I was saying, the retired in charge, Trudeau, or as I like to call him, Dopey Jr. He's creating a carbon tax, or a cap and trade tax, I guess, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Either way, it's another tax, another thing to fuck over the average, the average person. And, quite frankly, he's already spending us into more debt than we can ever ever than my children will ever see. And, it's, quite frankly, it's not fair. But then again, um, since when since when does he or any of his elitist pricks give a shit about the average, the average common citizen? There's an update for those who don't pay much attention to what goes on in this part of the in this part of the world. Not much goes on up here in Canada. That could be considered a good thing. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, about the shooting that happened in Quebec City with a mosque. Apparently there was a white guy, but then again, um, CBC is one that tends to handling all the reporting for it. Excuse me. Half of somebody else. What the fuck? And I, put my, I trust them about as much. I actually trust news from the Manatee or the Onion more than I would from CBC or any of its affiliates. They are useless, and taxpayers for myself and every other citizen in this country fund them. They are nothing but the mouthpiece for the Liberal Party. You know, kind of like CNN is, was for the Democrats. They're not unbiased. They are not nonpartisan. They're a bunch of fucking useless cocksuckers. And quite frankly, even think about all the shit that makes me want to get drunk. Not gonna happen because unfortunately kids have school and might have school in the morning. Might. All right, that was done, and this one is getting a one. I'd finished it, but never gonna see another one in my house again. So we'll get with this one. We'll try. Let's try the other one. All right, it's been up for well, how long have we been going for now? Fourteen and a half minutes. So, it's a little time to warm up a little bit. Ooh. Not sure, you, not sure if you can see the smoke that came out of there or not. It's not the proper glass, by the way. I don't want to do it anymore. My wife will kill me. I kiss and don't it right off. But. That's a story for another day.
Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's my Saturday night, and hey, I'm getting a lot, I'm getting some pretty good head here. Unfortunately, the wife's sleeping. Otherwise, maybe I could get some from that direction. No, probably not that either. Ooh. Another light around here. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's hazy, orangish. Has like a very much orange hue to it. Well carbonated. It's not as dark as I expected. This is my first time having the the Chimay Red. I do have a Chimay Blue in my fridge that was it's been there far longer than it should have been. Maybe I'll have to get into that one another night. Anyway, so the head's nice and pillowy. Sure, Heffy. 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 Calm down. You can't wait too excited. And by the way, asshole, what the fuck is the boo review you said you were gonna do? Like, what are we gonna do with you? I know you're a busy guy. I know you're getting ready for your vacation. By the way, you motherfucker, go on a vacation in Jamaica. You Bastard. <sighs> I know you're getting ready for your vacation, but come on, get a fucking brew review up. Yeah, okay, this one, after putting that extra in, it's gone much hazier. That one looks nice. Orange. Like a, almost like a blood orange color, I guess. I definitely don't expect any blood orange out of it. But it is a Belgian, so you can expect anything from these guys. <coughs> Sorry, battling a bit of a cold. Oh, and just be on the safe side. Yeah, I'm a fucking copycat, I know. There's the cap for the Chimay. Focus. Come on, clone. Focus. Okay. Nothing special. Just says Chimay with a few fleur de lis on it. And a, sheet and a gold shield with on red. So, let's see what this one's like, shall we? Can't get anything to that darn head. It's pillowy. No, so I guess I'm not getting anything. But let's see if it'll settle first. Maybe I'll get something once it's once the head settles. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, it's in the wrong glass, so it's not going to help matters any at all. Anyways, so, Chimay, Père Tapis, so, Fathers of Trappist. Ale brewed in Belgium in Scaramont Abbey, so it's an Abbey ale. Even better. 7%, 330 mil, authentic Trappist product. It says right down there. Right there. Trappist. Trappist logo surfaces that this ale was brewed within the walls of an existing Trappist monastery under the control of the Trappist community. A major part of the sales revenue is used by the monks to support charitable works. Chimay Red will win you over with its fruity taste accompanied by a slight bitterness. And of course you get the whole Address for the place. In Quebec, you get ten. In Quebec, you get ten cents back for this bottle. Here, I think it's five. The 
living you know Quebec gets a lot of, gets a lot of shit that we don't including hell a lot more money for and they don't do fuck all for it except for fuck things up and bitch and complain yeah I know I'm bitching and complaining shut up so anyways you know what I've waited long enough with this thing <clears throat> let's get into it Okay, you notice in the seven, you notice in a little bit more of the alcohol than you, know, than you normally should for seven percent, like that double that I did, that heavy double I did in the previous review. That one was eight percent, and it was far smoother, and than this is, but different style. This thing is far more robust than the heavy than that moss was. But it is. It definitely has a lot more flavor up front. This thing maybe because I like warm up more than the than I did the, than I did the moss. Either way, this thing has a shit ton of flavor. Definitely I like the like what you normally get with the belt in Belgians, like the banana from the yeast, a little bit of candy sugar. the fruity candy sugar but it tingles it tingles around the tongue I like that it's cool I have a few more beers I'll have to get into eventually uh Connivergen La Trap triple I got two of them in the fridge and I got one aging uh, there somewhere else I gotta put it in a place where it's a little more where it's a little more protected from light and everything <coughs> excuse me few things like that aging right now you won't see those for a while at least aged I might do something ahead of time like in the coming day in the coming weeks too as a base mark as a base line for it but as of right now just gonna focus on this for the time being so again getting the banana the from the yeast I find anyways. You might know something different if you ever get it. Um, the candy sugar. Some alcohol astringency to it, like you can actually taste some of the alcohol. I don't think you're supposed to. Yeah, it's not it's not proper serving temperature either. It's supposed to be around twelve degrees Celsius. What? People aren't serving the beer pretty much lukewarm. I'm Canadian. Beer is supposed to be cold. I suppose if I'm gonna drink cold beer, take a take a big forty ounce of cold forty five, stick it in the freezer till it's near crystallized and chug that. That'll be cold. But no, forget I said that. Forget it. But this thing, it's you notice in the alcohol in the taste. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way, but I don't know what temperature it is. I don't, I'm not fancy like Eric. I don't have a infrared. I don't have a th an infrared thermometer to check the temperature of my beer. This isn't the best of the Chimay's I've had. I've had the white. I've had the blue. The blue is, I think, 9%, if I'm not mistaken. The blue is definitely contains a lot more flavor than this, and it's more balanced. This is good, but the blue is far superior. I'd love to get some of the more limited edition stuff, but chances of that happening are like me, like me winning the Powerball. Yeah, me being Canadian, me me win the Powerball. Yeah, right. 
that'll never happen because I can't win it. Drink a little more, you—it's not—it's not, you're not noticing alcohol as much. Maybe because it's already dead in my taste buds. Who knows? But there's just a hint, hint of bubble gum. No, that's actually improving. It's improving a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to leave this where it is at the moment. And I am going to rate this as a 6. Actually, you know what? No. No. What is it, 7% alcohol? I'll mark it as a 7. 7%. And then we'll just leave things from there. So, anyways, guys. Cheers. And again, Jim, Hornet Fixer. Get better soon, my friend. You're giving us a big ass scare with what's going on there. Not as scary as it is for you, I know. But, and of course, with the, within the sick crazy fuckers, we kind of miss you. You know, the whole questionable content thing that you used to get in on. <coughs> and, Wade, if you're getting this, try to see if you can get, get Loco Ray back in. Because he was actually, when you when you introduced him to it, to the group, it was getting, it made things a little more interesting. He tended to bring some more <laughs> deplorable material, you know, stuff that I. That's what the rest of the rest of us sick crazy fuckers like. <clears throat> oh man, gassy. Anyways, you probably won't be able to get him back because his wife his wife will probably will probably kill him. But having said that, we'll cut this off here and I may get into another one maybe tomorrow night. We'll have to see. Either way, it's been fun. I've enjoyed this. And we'll go on to another one another time. Okay? Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. And um, by the way, enjoy the rest of your week.